What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and we are here today with the review for The Real Housewives of Atlanta. This is season 13 reunion part three. The reunion is over you guys. So we are done with Real Housewives of Atlanta until we get to November. So next up is Real Housewives of Potomac. So like I said, this is part three. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys are watching this video and you guys come to my channel and you are not already subscribed to the channel, what we doing? Stop taking me on a date and not paying. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when anything drops on this channel, hit that like button and let's go ahead and just jump into the review, shall we? All right, you guys, so this episode, part three of the reunion, we start talking about Bolo. So we're talking about what happened with Bolo, you guys remember. The ladies wanted to wrap up filming so that way they could have fun with Bolo because with the camera crew there, Bolo wasn't going to, you know, flip the ladies around, do what a, you do at a typical bachelorette party. He wasn't going to flip them around. He wasn't going to get naked. He wasn't going to do any of that stuff until production decided to wrap. So a viewer asked the question for Kenya, why if they decided that they were not going to talk about what happened in the dungeon, why did Kenya then feel the need to bring it up? So Kenya says, you know, we were at work, we're in a cast house, so I brought it up, which I still don't get it. I know any, I know people in the comments will be like, but JB is a cast house. I get what you guys are saying, but let's just take into consideration other shows that have cast house and people have sex in them all the time, but nothing like this ever happens. Jersey Shore, that was a cast house. The Real World, that's a cast house. The Bad Girls Club, cast house. Now, in the Bad Girls Club, they will fight about the stupidest shit, but the Bad Girls Club, the Big Brother house, that's a cast house. And people hook up in the Big Brother house. They don't make a big fuss about it. And even with the Big Brother house, if you, if you guys know anything about Big Brother, there's a live 24-7 feed where you can watch what the house guests are doing day in and day out. And we, I'm a Big Brother fan, and I've saw people have sex in the Big Brother house. It's not that big of a deal, and the people in the house don't make a big deal of it. But, and then even still, if poor, if Candy, I mean not Candy, but Kenya, Kenya is saying that they were on a on on a work, they were on a work trip. Like, think about it from a work perspective. So I can see it if, because even Andy said, but pro, the production had left, so the crew had left. So yes, the crew left their cameras behind, but the crew had left. So technically, your if you want to say like your bosses or stuff, they weren't around. So you were on your own at that point. It's just like when you go to work. If you take a work trip, and you know you guys go out to the bar after work, have a little, you know, get a little lit, get back, you know, go back to the hotel, invite some people over. That's on you, and nobody else. So I, I'm, I'm, I don't get it, but. It ain't for me to get. I don't really care. I just want us to stop talking about this shit at this point, to be quite honest with you. So then, you know, um, another viewer asked the question of Candy, like, why, you know, when Kenya started mentioning this stuff, why didn't you say something? So she said, well, I did say something to Kenya, but I don't run Kenya. So I wish people would stop thinking that I run Kenya. And Andy and Kenya both had to say that, what it is is that Kenya respects you. But she said, but I did say something to her. So, you know, it, it is what it is, basically. So then Andy asked, I think another viewer asked a question of Kenya. Now, if this were Cynthia and if this were Candy, would you had egged on this situation the way that you did? She said, no, she wouldn't have. But she said that she felt that Cynthia and Candy would have told her what happened. So then, Marlo chimes in. Marlo's talking about the fact that Candy told her what happened with allegedly with Portia and with Bolo. And do I believe Candy told Marlo? Absolutely. Absolutely. But you know, Candy's like, why am I getting drugged into this? I mean, I don't. I, I want to stop talking about this, to be quite honest with you guys. It's stupid. It's the dumbest thing I've ever saw in my life. Do I care what Portia did with Bolo? Absolutely not. 
If it was Kenya, I wouldn't care. If it was any of the other women, I would not care. Who slept with Bolo? It ain't my business, it ain't they business. Why y'all clocking another woman's vagina? I don't care. So then Marlo was talking about this whole thing was set up, was set up because of Portia. Talking about the set. And Portia was like, so this set is all because of me? I got that much power and then I was like, oh my God, why are y'all bringing this stuff up? Because Kenya and, and Marlo saying, this is all because Portia lied. We all know what happened season nine when she told them that Candy said that she was going to take her back to her sex dungeon, repeating what Phaedra told her. I was like, oh my God. I'm just like, can we please shut up? And then Marlo, somebody she doesn't care anymore. I'm like, if you don't care, you have a very odd way of showing that you don't care. Because the way you, I mean, I, thou, thou does protest too much. You care. So then Kenya and Portia started arguing. I was just like, oh my God. What are y'all going back and forth about? I don't get it. It's stupid. It is dumb. Kenya, if Portia wants to sleep with Bolo, let her sleep with him. I don't care. I wish you had slept with him, to be quite honest with you. Because then you could you could stick it to Mark. Period. Um, so with this whole situation, and it took me a minute to finally figure it out because Candy was talking about the whole situation with Portia and her, what happened between them. So it made me question. It was like, so has Candy really gotten over that? But Candy did say that, you know, certain things just, you know, she has, she, she feels that she's moved forward with Portia, but certain things, when things come up, it just triggers her. Now, I understand that. Me personally, I don't think I would have ever been able to forgive Portia for something like that because that was just low as hell. I just don't know if I would ever be able to forgive somebody for accusing me of wanting to rape them. I don't think I could forgive that, but, you know, Candy's better than me. I'm going to say that because I don't think I would ever forgive it, but let's move on. So... We showed the pack. They showed another package, and Andy asked. It was the package of Marlo and Kenya, and Portia. So Andy asked um, Marlo, "Why does she feel like she was in the middle of the situation between Portia and between Kenya?" Marlo, you are full of shit. Got to be real with you, because Kenya. I mean, not Kenya, but Marlo is trying to say that you know the girls kept asking her like, "Why is she and Portia not talking to each other?" I'm not going to sit here and say that that's not true. But the issue between you and Portia came from the it wasn't me challenge. You know that. We all know that. That's where that issue came in at. Because Kenya started it on Instagram. And then Marlo came behind her. Then I think Latoya did it. I think Shamia did it. I'm not entirely positive. I, I don't remember who all did it. If you guys notice that I'm scratching, I'm so sorry. I went home to visit my family for Mother's Day to go visit my mom's grave. And every time I go home, I come back to Dallas with mosquito bites. So there's a big mosquito bite on my finger and it really itches and I'm trying my hardest to stop scratching it, but it itches so bad. But um, yeah, Marlo wants to play like she doesn't know what the, why she's in the middle because you firmly placed yourself in the middle. So then, you know, Andy asked Kenya, does she feel that she can trust Marlo? And she says, yeah, I feel like I can trust Marlo because Marlo is a straight shooter. I'm like, Kenya, do you really believe that? I think you lying to yourself. Like, how do you trust Marlo? And then Marlo, on the other hand, said that she doesn't trust Kenya 100%. So then I'm like, okay, if you don't trust Kenya 100%, why do you believe that she was telling the truth about this whole situation between Portia, Tanya, and Bolo? If you don't believe her, if you don't trust her 100%, just asking. Just asking, you know, I'm not saying that Kenya is lying. I'm just asking if you don't trust her 100%, why do you trust her in this situation? It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Oh, God, that's next. Jesus Christ. Oh, this review is going to be short. I think this review is going to be pretty short. I didn't think. Yeah, this review is going to be short. I don't understand why we had three parts because this part, this part three of the reunion was very lackluster to me. It just didn't make a lot of sense to me. 
This could have been wrapped up in two parts, to be quite honest. Which actually could have been wrapped up in one part. But I guess they needed to stretch it out. Did they stretch it out for Shaws of Sunset, which premieres next week? Whatever. Let's move on. All right, you guys. Next up, we got to talk about Mr. Lot, Profit Lot. I'm not calling him man Profit Lot. Mr. Lot. I am still as confused as I was when we discussed him the first time. So we replay the whole situation between Port Latoya and Drew about this lot guy. Andy even asked Drew, Drew, what is the issue? Like, why did you take it on so heavily? Drew, you know, I still like Drew, but Drew, you're just talking riddles for me. And this didn't make any sense to me. So I guess what, so what Drew is saying happened is that Dietrich, which I know who Dietrich is. I think that's the one from, um, I think he's the guy that was on that show on Oxygen a few years ago where they had the show about the preachers. I think that's him. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's who Dietrich is. So Dietrich and someone else was supposed to be a part of the baby blessing. But she's saying that they pulled out because there was some negative energy. And it still doesn't make sense to me. So what is the negative energy, Drew? Like, explain that to me. What's the negative energy? Is Prophet Lot himself the negative energy? Or are you saying that the situation, the alleged situation between him and Latoya was a negative situation because I was thrown for a loop. I just did not understand it. I wanted her to go deeper into it. Even before they even started talking about it, she said, can we pray? I'm like, no, Drew, we cannot pray. Please don't pray. Explain to us what the hell is going on. So even Toya was like, girl, what? And Andy tried to make sense of it. And I was even with Kenya because <laughs> Kenya was like, Andy, that makes no sense. He says, well, I'm just trying to explain it like what Drew told me. She says, I get that, Andy, but listen to what you're saying. That makes no sense. I'm like, yeah, even I even 100% agree with Kenya. That made absolutely no sense, Andy. The hell are you talking about? Like, that makes no sense. So then Andy talks about, actually, she mentioned, talks about false prophets. I was like, so are you saying he's a false prophet now? Like, what are you saying, Drew? Like, again, you're talking in circles, and I just... Don't understand what you're saying. You gave me a headache at that point. So then Andy mentions the wig for the um, the Christmas party that they had, the white elephant party. And I still have my same stance about the white elephant party. I don't really, I mean, I don't have a problem with a gag gift. Because with me, if you give me a gag gift, I'm just going to hold on to that bitch until the next year and give it to somebody else. who <laughs> I'm going to keep, I'm going to pass on the gag gift. Like, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to give it to somebody else. Like, I've gotten gag gifts before. I don't care. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, if you see somebody else get another gift, I'm like, oh, damn. Or now, if somebody takes my gift from me, I'm like, damn, you bitch. You just took my gift from me, huh? And left him with this piece of shit. Mm. That's why I never, like to, that's like why when it comes to those kind of games, I don't like to go first. I don't want to be the first person to take a gift. Let me be either be, be last or in the middle. So that way I don't have to take I don't have to get stuck with the be the first person to get stuck with the gift because I can't trade it. So I'd rather be able to trade the gift. But Drew apologizes to the ladies. I don't know who she thought wanted that ratty ass wig. But Drew apologizes for the wig and she and Toya somehow make up with each other. We'll see how long that lasts. We'll actually see if Drew or Latoya both come back for season 14. I'm going to keep saying it with season 14. I just think that season 14 needs a complete overhaul. I, I, that's my feelings on season 14. I think that they, I think that some girls can go. More specifically, I think Candy could go. I think Cynthia could go. They can actually keep Portia and Kenya, but the beef has to go. The beef has to stop. It's got to be done. We got to be done with the beef. Marlo, unfortunately, I can do without Marlo. But they could keep Toya. They can keep Drew. They can keep Portia. And they can keep Kenya. 
and they can add two more housewives to the mix. I feel that I think I think that would be good. Add two more housewives, you know, keep Portia, keep Kenya, and keep Drew and Toya. Honestly, actually, I, I don't dislike Latoya as much as I did when the season first started, but I'm still not a big fan of her. But I think that they could do that. Just keep those four and add two more women to the mix. That would work. I think that would work. But again, like I said, with Kenny comes to Kenya and Portia, this back and forth, it should stop. But let's move on and wrap up this reunion, you guys. I'm actually stretching this shit out. I don't know why. But let's move on. All right, you guys. Next. So, like I said, with the reunion, they drug some stuff out. Because what was it? Wasn't it last week's reunion? Last part last part two when they drug out the stuff between Kenya and not Candy. Not Kenya. But Candy and Portia. So this week we're gonna talk about Kenny and Portia's relationship. So we all know the situation between Kenya and Portia. Kenya and Portia have not liked each other since their very first season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Then last season they came back because they had daughters, and you know, Sh um, Shamia, Portia, and Kenya were all pregnant at the same time. They had gotten along with each other. So they got along, but then somewhere along the lines, they stopped being cool with each other. And people have been saying, people be talking, I see a lot of people say, oh, Portia and Kenya fell out because Portia went back open, hung, you know, she took Nene's side. That really wasn't what broke the, that wasn't what it was. What the issue was, was when Tanya and Kenya had their issue and when Kenya called Tanya a see you next Tuesday and Portia defended uh, Tanya. Now, me personally, I don't think Portia should have gotten involved with that because um, it had nothing to do with her. I'm not going to, if my friend can't defend themselves, I'm not going to sit here and jump into a fight for you. You got to know how to defend yourself. So then Kenya also said that she felt a way about Portia and Candy last season when they were at um, Mark's bowling event and they were talking about how their relationship was. Now I wonder if she addresses to, um, to Candy. I wonder if she addressed it to her. I'm not saying that she didn't, I just wonder if she did. Portia, 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 Portia. Y'all know I love Portia, but I can, I can call the girl out when she's wrong and when she's lying. Portia, why did you sit there and lie blatant? I mean, you blatantly lied about the situation with um, Mar at Marlo's wig event. Talking about, you know, you saw the old Kenya come out. I'm like, but Portia, you were on the ground laughing. I think we all were laughing when Kenya came in there with that band, but Portia, you were on the ground laughing, love. So you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. So then Drew chimed in talking about the way Kenya, you know, Kenya didn't give her a fair shot. Um, I don't know if that's the case, Drew. Uh, you know, I don't think that was the case. I, I'm not a big Kenya fan, but that I, I, I don't, I don't agree with you, Drew. Sorry to tell you that. Don't agree with you. Don't agree with you. I think you guys, I think both you and Kenya were shady in your interviews with the producers. But, yeah, I don't agree with you, True. Love you, just don't agree with you. Don't agree with you, girlfriend. But, um, that's the end of the reunion. Again, I don't know why we needed three parts to this reunion. It could have been summed up in two parts. It could have been summed up actually in one part. All that we had this season to talk about was Bolo. We talked about, we could talk, I mean... We breeze past Cynthia and Mike's wedding. We breeze past Prophet Lot. We breeze past Child. We breeze past everything. What did we talk about for three weeks? Nothing. Nothing. All right, you guys. That's it. I'm ready for Real Housewives of Potomac to come back. But um, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up, you guys. So let's get off of here and um. We're going to move on to Married to Medicine. So before we do that, go ahead and hit that like button on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else. And share this video. Until the next one, you guys. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Ooh, remember to wash your hands. Wear your mask and socially distance. My bones just popped it. I don't know if you guys heard that. But um, I'll see you guys in the next one.